Hey, so I had this really dumb mistake that I made. I went grocery shopping and my girlfriend came back and wanted to go out and eat lunch. And we went out and ate lunch and we came back and I had accidentally left empty grocery sacks on the glass cooktop and the glass cooktop was left on. And so we were gone for about an hour with this plastic bag just cooking on the top of the stove top and now I'm going to try and clean it up. I looked around on YouTube and I found baking soda and vinegar was a fairly popular way to try and get this stuff off of here and so I'm going to see if it works. Most people do get this uh I guess most people that have this mistake are usually only have plastic cooked on there for a second until they realize what they've done. But I was not so bright. Well, that's exciting. I didn't know it would do that. And uh, so this is a, a little bit extreme being cooked on there for an hour and not just accidentally left on there for a little bit. Look, now I'm gonna make more of a mess because I am a disaster. My dad actually called me the master of disaster when I was a kid. Some people think that's funnier than I do, but you know, it is what it is. So we're going to see if this works. I'm going to let this sit on here for a little bit and try and keep it off the rest of my counter. And uh, I'll let you know how it works out. All right, I'm back. I've let this stuff uh, soak on here for about five to ten minutes. And that seems to be what everybody else has said. And uh, I guess the severity of my situation has made this to just be overall more difficult, which I was not really expecting any miracles here. But I would like to say that this uh, this concoction has, a, it does appear to have softened this stuff up and make it much easier to come off, but I'm still gonna have a long road ahead. And so, um, Maybe I'll do a time lapse here so that y'all can, can speed things up. And uh, I'll put a, maybe I can put a picture in there or something like that and show y'all what it looked like before. Uh, it's because I didn't get it on video good. So let's fast forward. All right, I'm back. So let me show you what I got. So this is the pile of goop that I have ended up coming up with here and all that stuff, that all cleans off pretty well. That'll probably come off with some elbow grease and something a little more basic like you can see there this stuff is tricky this was on here like this was really really burnt on stuff and it's kind of hard to see through the liquid there but with my razor blade you can see if i scrape at it a little bit at a time I'm kind of using just like the corner of my blade there and see there it, it comes off but it's just very slow and tedious and I think I think this uh, I think this baking soda vinegar stuff works 
Um, it's gonna take some time, but it's gonna it's gonna be good. So uh, I'll uh, I'll get back with you guys here in a little bit with the the end result. All right, we're back. I've pretty much uh, got as much of that stuff up as I can. I'm pretty sure that little bit of stuff that's showing right there wipes mostly off. Lots of nasty stuff. Let's uh, just squirt this down here. And uh, get this cleaned off and see what it looks like. Hopefully it looks pretty good. I think I might have a little bit more to go. Hopefully there's no major scratches because I was scraping on it a lot with a razor blade. And I don't need any I told you so's from my girlfriend. Get enough of those as it is. So... Uh, looks a whole lot better than it did. I mean, a whole lot better. There is, uh, looks like there's still some to go here. I don't know. It's got to be plastic. It has to be. Oh yeah, it's a, uh, oh, sorry. Y'all couldn't see what I was working on here. It is working slowly but surely. It's coming up, how about that? Some of this stuff is like stickier than others. It's kind of weird. I guess some spots got burned hotter or had some more weight on it maybe, I don't know. Not, not real, real sure, but I mean, you can see that there got mostly taken out. We still have some bits of plastic. Get the glare out of y'all. We still got some bits of plastic laying around here, but it all gets scraped up with the razor blade pretty easy. Uh, I know my girlfriend, she was pretty worried that, uh, I would scratch the glass with this razor and I'm, uh, I've, I've been an immature, immature guy before with lots of stickers on his truck. I have, I have messed with lots of stickers on this. I mean, every time I take a registration sticker off, I do it with this guy. So I was pretty confident that I wouldn't scratch it and I'm glad that. I'm glad that I was right because uh, I definitely don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a new cooktop because I melted a bag on it or because I scratched it all up. You know, she probably wouldn't make me replace it, but because it's just a cooktop, it's still going to cook. But, you know, you still got to offer. So, yeah, it looks, looks pretty good, I think. I mean, compared to what it, it did look like. Now this stuff, oh, this is like where there was some red ink. That's kind of cool. See how it looks red? Like it comes off of there and it's got like a red tint to it. I guess that was some of the, it was an HEB bag. I'm here in Texas. We got HEB. And uh, it looks like that was the red ink from the HEB part of the bag. Yeah, see it's coming up. It's tedious, but it'll work and it'll fix it. So there you go. If y'all ever want, want to know how to clean up that mess off of your stove top, razor blade does a good job. And then the, uh, I don't know what it was, 
with the uh, the baking soda and the and the vinegar, but it definitely helped. It was definitely softer before I got the camera out. I I tried just doing it with dry with just the razor blade and the just doing it dry with the razor blade it, it just it made a big mess and it didn't come off out very easily and then i figured i felt like once i had a pile of mushy baking soda and vinegar that when you know hold some of these pieces of plastic and whatnot and uh and I could like scrape it around and get it out of the way a little bit easier with such a big, big mess that I had. And uh, yeah, so there you go, problem solved. Maybe I'll see y'all again, uh, again next time. Bye.